Vladimir Putin's statement in September was a thinly veiled threat to use nuclear weapons. И при угрозе территориальной целостности нашей страны для защиты России и нашего народа мы безусловно используем все имеющиеся в нашем распоряжении средства. He has escalated this language because he is losing the war in Ukraine and is suggesting that he might have to resort to nuclear weapons use in order to achieve his objectives. Since the end of World War II, nine countries have come to acquire and currently possess nuclear weapons. China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, which are also the permanent five members of the UN Security Council. And then also India, Pakistan, North Korea, and Israel is also believed to have nuclear weapons. Russia and the United States by far possess the largest nuclear arsenals. Russia has approximately 6,000 nuclear warheads, and the United States has approximately 5,400. Tactical nuclear weapons are often referred to as battlefield weapons. They could be used against an adversary military, against installations, or against facilities. Tactical nuclear weapons are also defined by having lower yields and they're expected to have shorter ranges. Strategic nuclear weapons, by contrast, are much larger in scale. These are the types of weapons that were used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that can level an entire city. So the yield of nuclear weapons can range from 20 tons all the way up to 50 megatons. Vladimir Putin could resort to nuclear weapons use on the battlefield with a tactical nuclear weapon if he perceived that he was losing the war. This might be to destroy a, an enemy target, enemy forces. But there are also symbolic reasons that Putin could use a nuclear weapon. He could launch a demonstration shot somewhere like over the Black Sea. This would also be an attempt to deter NATO and the West from intervening more directly or providing even more support to Ukraine's attempts to defeat Russia. The likelihood of a nuclear weapons use in Ukraine remains quite low. One of the best ways that the United States and NATO can deter Russia is by convincing Putin he will not achieve his strategic objectives through the use of nuclear weapons. By making it clear to him that any nuclear weapons use will have grave consequences, Nonetheless, his threats should be taken seriously. Mm -hmm.